more terrible handheld video shakes to come. I wanted to explain again, I think I already did in a video, but I figured I'd take the opportunity again to explain how I go about setting up my Unun tra auto transformer with a new wire. So this wire is the one I just cut for 20 meters, okay? Hang on. To calculate the length I need, I just used my spreadsheet that I wrote. If anybody wants a copy, let me know. I'll email it to you. So, I inputted 14 megahertz, and I see that I needed a wire 33 feet, 5 and an eighth inches long. Okay, so what I did, I made my wire 33 feet and a half, 33.5 feet. And what I got was a resonant frequency of 12.467 megahertz. So the wire was too long, as I knew it would be. Um, okay, hang on. We're going to come back to this in a second. Hang on. So I, make the, I made the wire the calculated length for 20 meters, okay? And I start on the 49 to 1 tap, which is where it's at now. And I sweep it with my analyzer. And I'm looking for two things. The resonant frequency and the standing wave ratio while using that tap. And I saw that I got a standing wave ratio of 1.5 to 1 at 12.46 megahertz. So A, I knew the wire was too long, and B, I knew that was not the correct tap to use, that I could do better. So I, hang on. So what I did was, okay, hang on. So I cut the wire for the calculated length. I used the 49 to 1 tap, and I saw that my resonant frequency was too low. So the antenna was too long. And so, uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's hard for me to gather my thoughts. So I calculated the resonant frequency to be 14 megahertz. Um, the actual was 12.467. I did the math and I saw that my antenna had to be reduced by 89%. Um, percent. It had to be reduced to 89% of its actual length. So I did the math and I figured that I needed to eliminate another 3 feet and hang on. <laughs> okay, so I did the math, and I multiplied 0.892 times the 33.5 feet, the actual length of the wire, and I see that the um, the new correct length would be 29 feet 10 inches. So 29 feet 10 inches would be 89% of the calculated length for a half wave wire. I needed to remove 3.3 feet 8 inches so I've already gone and done that and now let's look at the analyzer and so that's the process I cut the wire to the calculated length I'll do a, a sweep and I'll see what the true the real resonant frequency is I'll adjust the length of the wire accordingly and I'll recheck my SWR and resonant frequency and you can see that the uh, the resonant frequencies come up by a full megahertz, my standing wave ratio isn't bad, but we're on the 49 to 1 tap still. At this point, I will move it and see if another tap produces a better match. Hang on. Okay, the standing wave ratio using the 49 to 1 tap was 1.2 to 1. Very good. But I moved it to the 64 to 1 tap, and let's see what it did to the match. Perfect match. 50 ohms, no reactants, still too low in frequencies, so that tells me I gotta come up by another half megahertz. My wires gotta be shortened. So at this point, I don't do any more calculation. I just wing it. I'm gonna go out and pull another six or eight inches off that wire and we'll see what kind of results we get. Hang on. Okay, I just folded another six or eight inches back on itself, which took me about two minutes. 
and the resonant frequency came up, but not far enough. I'm going to go pull another 6 inches back. Hang on. Okay, I've gone out and folded another 6 inches or so back, and let's see what the resonant frequency now is. I'm back on the 49 to 1 tap. Best match, 41 to 1. <laughs> Best match, 49 to 1 tap, is that. I'm going to move it to the 64 tap. Hang on. 64 to 1 tap. Resonant frequency is there. 14,158. Boy, this is some awful video here, man. God, am I shaking. Holy sh... Bottom of the band. 1.4 to 1. I gotta make short order of this, man. I'm shaky. Top of the band. Well, I went past a little bit. You get to drift. You get to drift. Now I'm gonna take... So hang on. Okay, we need to finish this terrible video. <laughs> yeah, um, street level ham radio is what this is. So these are the steps, basically. These are the steps that I just did. I installed the half-wave wire using the calculated length. Check the fre resonant frequency. Adjust length. Check resonant frequency in SWR. At this point, I find a tap with the lowest SWR, move it to there, check the resonant frequency again. Is it okay? Cool. Done. If not, repeat. Uh, readjust the length and repeat. Um, and that's all I did. It took me, oh, maybe 10 minutes. What did I do? I, I folded uh, the antenna back on itself once, checked the FR. Check, uh, it was still a little um, long, so I folded it back again, and that's where we are now. A little high, a little high. Um, hang on. What was it, 14 one something? Yeah, but it's excellent. It From band edge to band edge. I can live with 1.4, and I can live with... Certainly live with that. Band edge to band edge. My phone's dying. Oh no.